El Salvador. All right. Welcome to Dr. Mike's El Salvador trip. You believe docs need to lead by example, but actually exercise with their patients to sort of prime the pump. Exactly, so what we did was we did a study in my hospital called Exercise With Your Physician, where we try to see if it would motivate patients to start an exercise regimen with their doctors. And what we actually found was they become more motivated, they start exercising more on their own, even after the study has concluded. Hey guys, what's up, Dr. Mike here. When I talked about this study on Dr. Oz, people got excited about it. AmeriCare has heard about my idea of this practice what you prescribe program and they said look we have a thousand clinics all across the United States why don't we see if in a country like El Salvador you can pilot this program do a feasibility trial and I was blessed with that opportunity from AmeriCares to be able to do that on my first day arriving in El Salvador I noticed that the people were incredibly welcoming. And it surprised me because I didn't know how I would be welcomed. They took me to the hotel where I was staying in San Miguel. After we dropped off our things, we said, okay, let's go to the AmeriCare's clinic in Usultan, which is far on the coast. I couldn't believe my eyes what I saw when I got there. The entire staff of the AmeriCare's clinic, nurses, doctors, receptionists, they all wear white coats, very buttoned up, were all standing in line to welcome me to their clinic and to their country. Ever since I stepped foot in El Salvador and in your clinic here today, I felt welcomed like I've never been welcomed in my life before. The country obviously deals with a lot of poverty because of gang issues, corruption, but also because of its turbulent history. In the 1980s, they had a very bad civil war that cost thousands of lives. They had devastating earthquakes months apart, actually one month apart, that left thousands of people homeless. A lot of the people that lived there they're in poverty. They don't have well-stabilized structures. They live in houses that they've built themselves. An average salary is something like $300 a month in El Salvador, so people really know how to stretch a dollar. When we started this exercise program, patients had their reservations. Some of the doctors had reservations. Some of the patients were suffering with knee pain, arthritis. They said, how can we do these exercises? I remember there was a child with Down syndrome and the mother was afraid that he wouldn't be able to follow the directions. The beauty of this program is we have doctors present at all times. So the doctors were able to be there, establish a good relationship with these patients, guide them so they're not hurting themselves, so they're performing the exercises in the right way. Everybody got excited. The patients were excited. The doctors were excited. At the end of the classes, we were taking group selfies. I could see smiles on people's faces. I could see them saying, I can bring this back to my community, my village, and we can do this weekly. We don't need fancy weights or machines. All we need is to dedicate 30 minutes, four times a week, and we can change the course of our lives. Everybody on three has to scream, I am an athlete. Uno, dos, tres. So what I was able to bring to the AmeriCare's clinic in El Salvador was evidence-based care. In America, whenever a doctor tells you hey, you have this ailment, this is the treatment for it, that's based on a recommendation. And the strongest level of recommendation comes from a meta-analysis, which is a grouping of the best high quality studies. These doctors in El Salvador were fascinated by the idea that you can open your phone and look up medication dosages, uh, what was proven to work better than others. It really serves as a way to improve the quality of medicine that they deliver every single day. Those doctors are incredibly passionate about what they do every day. They get to know their patients on an individual level, and from there, they create a plan. And really, that's the smart way to do it. All this evidence-based approach that I've talked about is great, but that's population medicine. That's a great foundation for your knowledge. But then how to apply it to the individual sitting in front of you is really the way to practice medicine. So watching these experienced clinicians work, albeit with the help of a translator because my Spanish isn't that great. Mi español es muy mal. Was truly a unique and rewarding experience. So no big deal. We're just in the middle of a volcano. 
a huge volcano. Obviously, I spent the majority of my time in the Mary Cares Clinic, but I also tried to spend as much time as I could outside of the clinic, visiting the local communities, visiting the beautiful scenery that El Salvador has to offer. And what I found was this country is a hidden treasure. I'm not just protecting this goal, I'm protecting your health. All in all, this was such an incredible trip. To all the beautiful people of El Salvador and all of the tremendous staff in the AmeriCares organization, I owe you a huge thank you. Oh my God. Doesn't this hurt your head? They put up um, my name written in beans, yes? Beans. Now make me look sexy. <laughs> That's easy. That's easy. <laughs> you got me a camera? Oh yeah. Watch me roll. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button now to get new videos every week. 